while it's not my favorite layout in the world, we did park next to the ship, which is pretty cool. I don't think the door's there. I'm pretty sure the door is on either side of the wings. They got like the giant wings and then the core room with an elevator, I think. I vaguely remember the layout of these, and I'm not sure what type of alien we're fighting. I'm sure I'll find out as soon as I click this button. I think the appearance ratio is at this point of the game and beyond, it's the same. I think there's the best chance for it to be lobster men. It's only like 20% chance for ethereals. And it's ethereals. Because that there is a sectopod. Which... I don't think these guns will do much to. Right. Yeah, we're not we're not doing that because that's ethereals and ethereals. Oh boy, they uh, their mind control is very very good, and the sectopod is also very very strong. And there goes the supply ship and all that. Just well, where are you? You're going after the supply ship, which is definitely gone. Very small. Wait. Oh my, you only have 20% fuel? You kidding me? Try to shoot him down. Just... No. Okay. Five seconds. Do we have any more craft? No, no not, not really. I mean, we got North America, but that doesn't really count. It scares me, because that could be a, um... No. That's, that could be a, um, a Scout the Human Base ship. Ah, shit. Um, we'll get North America on that one. We'll try to shoot them both down. I'm pretty sure they're trying to scout me, though. And if they're real, scare the crud out of me. They're the young that I fear the most when my control is on, because they're very good at it. The Sectopods, you need... You pretty much need heavy plasma to take them down. If you don't, it takes so wicked long. And I'm pretty sure laser? I'm pretty sure they're like immune to laser. You don't have a ship. That guy is... I think he's... I think he's gone. That terror mission would have just land... or would have landed... would have uh, ended in just every rookie being slaughtered and... No, we, we stopped the terror mission. That's ultimately... Do you really not have... No, that's just the Asia Scout base. Of course it doesn't have one. It's fine. Daytime's coming. We'll do that ship. It's sad that we weren't able to get any... No, don't run away from me. It's sad we didn't get any of the resources from the terror ship. Or any of the score for doing the, uh, for the terror mission, but... The simple th fact that we averted it, and with it being a third rails, it would have been every civilian lost, most XCOM soldiers gone. And that just wouldn't have been good. We are, however... Actually, we still got quite a ways to go before anything finishes up. Never mind then. I was gonna say, however, we are almost done with the, um... Mind control thing, but it's gonna be a while. And same with Heavy Plasma, it's only going poor. <sighs> if I had Heavy Plasma, I might have attempted it. Because Heavy Plasma gets a Sectopod, pretty sure that would be okay. Right, you are just a small that we shot down. We will do you first because you're right there. Yeah, that's the right one. Bing. Does North America have people yet? I know I was working on that, and I think that's what that living quarters is for. No, they don't have anybody. Because this is going to be a fully operational base someday. Another farm. Ship is to our right, leaving the ship. And doesn't look like there's any buildings around. There's probably one way up there, but we'll handle that later. I suppose first step is get to the hedges. 
no good gunter, I suppose, to hang out by this landing gear. Are you reactive? Fairly reactive. You'll keep an eye out up there. Michael Bailey. Decent. Oscar Stephens. Decent, I guess. Just get a couple people out of the ship watching our back as we move along the hedges and head toward the alien ship from there. And there are aliens inside the ship. What kind of alien? Not a clue. Um, hitting this side of the hedges and following it down might be best. Whoops. Best click. Good luck, Michael Bailey. Godspeed, sir. I heard the doors. Don't know what type of alien it is. And Michael Bailey is just standing out in the open. Very cautious. Because at this stage in the game, August and Beyond, like I said, the alien appearance ratios, it's the same for the rest of the game. And you've got mixed crew introduced, so you can't just see... Well, I think this game's got mixed crew. Terror from the Deep had mixed crew, at least. So if you saw a Lobster Man, an example, it might not be an all-Lobster Man ship. I think Terror from the Deep had that. Maybe that was just unique cases. I don't really know. I never really looked into much of the technical stuff. Somebody will tell me, I'm sure. I have no hero stay here and watch. There's a little orchard over there. There's probably an alien there. It's only a small, so whatever we're fighting, it's only going to be like four or five, but all it takes, I mean, as you've seen with some of these sectoids, all it takes is just one dude hunkered down in the top floor of the, uh, of the ship, or even a building, and they can just devastate your squad. It is Snake Man. Snake Men. An amazing shot from Pierre, with only 47 reactions. Beautiful hit right in that orchard. There's almost always an alien spawning in those. Nicely done. I'm not afraid of snake men. Snake men are... They're like this game's gill man. They just, they don't really do much. I mean, at least in Terror from the Deep, gill man with a stun launcher, I mean... The reactions are kind of sort of okay, so if you shoot at them and miss, and then they shoot a stun launcher into your ship, that sucks. They can't really do that in this game, though, because the ship is elevated in such a way that they wouldn't be shooting into the ship. But in Terror of the Deep, the, uh, the ship is on the ground plane. There's no loading ramp onto it or anything like that, so it's just a simple double door. Very easy for an alien to shoot into. Reaction fire, of course, because the door automatically closes. But now I'm just rambling and it's almost time to breach. Boy. There wasn't any smoke, was there? We shot this thing down pretty clean. Usually you see smoke pouring out of the uh, creases. And the fact that I hear alien doors and it's not this one. Well, it might be this one. I don't know yet. I suppose we get through a proximity and find out. But then I have to discern the proximity. Which is kind of a pain. But I do have a lot of rookies here. Rookies are good at disarming proximity grenades. God. That could end horribly. Okay, it's not the front door. Get him! Man, they die fast. Good luck. We'll be out here waiting. Whispering encouraging words through the walls. Attempt to clear out the ship with Michael Bailey. Why not? Let's get these rookies to prove their merit. Everybody else will stand outside for the event where he inevitably dies. We'll uh, send them in. He's doing okay so far. armed with. Ah, it's not too bad. 
Whoa! Beautiful job, Gunter. Think your reactions were only 50? 53? Man, you guys are kicking ass up there. Man, one shot. Michael Bailey. Is that it? No, there's still more. There's probably outside the ship or in that little room. Alright, well I haven't heard any doors, so I don't think anybody's flanking. Michael Bailey just stole the ship. Three snake men. Well done, sir. Wait, what? Oh, god, I misread that. I thought it was 100 reactions and 50 morale. What? It's odd. Alright, so I'm not hearing any wooden doors. Just... Nothing. So they're just kind of out... Some somewhere. Now Hero sees them. Alright. Now Hero, don't die. You've got one of those names. I don't know if you're the same one or not. I doubt it because you're just a rookie, but, you know, whatever. I don't have a regular grenade to throw over. Oh, whatever. We'll just shoot him. Seems to work okay. Oh, God, he got closer. Rub his shoulders, rub his shoulders! Yeah. And that was it. All right, snake men. They're very easy. They don't bother me, and we shot that ship down clean, which is great, because then we got a bunch of Valyrium and alloys. So, bada bing, bada boom, 228 rating. And a lot of promotions. Dimitri Chukarn, Commander. Congratulations, sir. You've done a whole lot of nothing to earn these promotions. Very nice. I would love to tell you guys to do that one, but I can't. Hopefully, it just needs to refuel for a little while, and we can head out in the morning. Possibly, I hope. Like now, we'll go now. No, that's North America. What am I doing? Oops, I did almost did that last time. I'm kind of curious. Where is he? He sold the ship. I'm curious if he got anything for it. Michael Bailey squatty. Yeah, yeah, not bad. A little bit of accuracy, the health and timing nuts, which is guaranteed to go up anytime you uh, do anything promotion worthy. I think it's guaranteed to go up a bit. But uh, getting a little bit of accuracy, not bad, not bad. Uh, I can send you back home. Turn to base. Do I know what type of base this is? If you know what kind of base this is, let me know. Otherwise, I'll have to send a, um, a Skyranger with, like, a rookie at it or something and find out. We'll, we'll scout it out. I don't remember if I know what it is or not. I think it's Mutons? I think Mutons, because there's a Muton supply ship heading there. I don't know. I don't remember. Oh. Oh, right, Dimitri. Ha! I was like, whoa, one of these dudes is rocking out. I love that symbol. So badass. Look at that, those 73 timing. It's 86 energy. This guy can go for years, man. Oh, God. High ranking people are so good. I'm just so afraid to use them. But I really got to realize that I've got so many people. Who are doing great things that even when Dimitri were to die, morale's gonna take a hit. However, we're gonna have another commander like as soon as that mission ends. And this is not what I wanna see. Got a ship to the left of me and a building in the front. However, there's no door on this side. The door would be this one, I think, just down there. God, what type of building is this? Oh, it's that one with the roof. Ugh, makes it a little worse. <laughs> 